It gives me enormous pleasure and pride to cut this ribbon and declare the Papillon Suite well and truly open. We have today a group of speakers, all who have been supporters of Dr. Mint, Professor Mint, <laughs> in, the, uh, in the pursuit of this dream. And the first person I'd like to invite to, to speak is, is our Chief Executive. Um, we, we have a very forward-thinking management group now who have seen the benefits of Papillon treatment and we are very grateful to them. Now, with the opening of the new Papillon suite, we now have the ability to treat more patients every year. The Clutterish Cancer Centre has a long history of providing the highest quality specialist uh, cancer diagnosis and care for our patients. Pioneering the development of new and innovative techniques is just one way that we make sure that we continue our efforts to, treat, uh, to offer our patients the very best in cancer care. Medical professionalism is about adapting your values to the society you work in and, and you know, to current, current mores, if you like. The most important one is putting the patient at the centre of what you do. And as part of that patient choice, genuine patient choice, and here in the Papillon suite we've got genuine choice for patients. That means that it doesn't have to be an operation if they don't want to have an operation that would result in a stoma. Uh, education, uh, training the next generation is absolutely key and many of you will know that Sunny Min has been absolutely pivotal in bringing uh, people from other parts of the world, particularly his own country, Burma, but other countries too, to learn the technique and learn about the British values of medicine. Research is an absolutely uh, crucial um, value in, in medicine. If you don't keep up with the science and the research, then you can't do the best for your patients. And this unit, again, has published many scientific papers. But su publishing science isn't enough. You have to do the innovation, which is getting what the evidence shows is good into clinical practice. And we'll hear more about, about Sunny and the team being the first people to bring this, this really valuable technique to this country and make a difference to patients. And the final, and perhaps I think the most important uh, value that came out uh, of these uh, studies was, was the role of leadership. Uh, leadership isn't an add-on just for presidents of colleges or chairman of the BMA. It's something that everybody has to do and should be doing in, in their work. And uh, Sunny uh, has shown leadership uh, in spades over the last few years. Leadership is, is the vision of where you want to get to but it's also working out how you get there. I think the number of times he's knocked on Andrew's door shows that Sonny has known how to get there. But equally importantly, it's bringing people with you on that journey. And I think it's been the personality of Sonny and the team around him that have brought the hospital and the wider community with them on this journey. But we have here today, I think, this Papillon suite, which, uh, under the leadership of Sonny, uh, represents the best uh, of professionalism. We've got that uh, patient at the centre, we've got the research and innovation, we've got the education, and above all, uh, we've seen leadership. So I'm delighted to be involved, and I wish it all the very best in the future. To give the name of Jean Papillon to your center your suite is the best tribute one can offer to the memory of a man. It is also a reason for great pride for our family. Giving the name of a French doctor to this suite is a strong sign of sharing knowledge and experience across the border for the benefit of patients. With the opening of this uh, Papillon suite, with all the patients you are treating in UK, or the center that you are opening with the Papillon treating machine, we are able now to prove definitively that this technique is working. And for that, we will do a randomized trial. We'll start the trial, hopefully, at the end of 
2014 and in uh, something like uh, five years we'll have the result. And maybe in the New York Times they will say, thanks to Professor Sandit and the Opera trial, now most of the patients can have a normal life without uh, mutilating surgery for rectal cancer. This is our dream. But the Opera trial will be the end of the story to prove to the rest of the world and I am sure that in some years, with uh, hopefully success of this trial, everybody will convince that what we have done here in the UK is the basis of a big change. And I am sure that all of you here present today will remember with great emotion that you were present at the start of this new bright story of the contact therapy papillon machine. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to see it to believe it. This treatment, in the main, is given on an outpatient basis. The patients come in one by one, they bend over so that the back passage area is exposed. And Professor Sun Min then inserts the x-ray tube into the rectum using a specially adapted rectoscope so that all the time he can see exactly where to place the end of the x-ray tube so it lies directly in contact with the visualized rectal tumor. Often, he will tattoo or ink the mucosa, the lining surrounding the tumor, so even when it shrinks away following the first application, the area where the tumor is regressing is still apparent for an accurate guidance next time round in about two or three weeks. This technique has revolutionized the treatment of these tumors. It is elegant, fast, nearly painless, and provides in most cases a cure without the need for surgery. It sounds too good to be true. But in this case, ladies and gentlemen, it is true, as Professor Gerard has said, and the results are the proof. Hundreds cured of rectal cancer with this technique, sometimes also combined with a few weeks of external beam irradiation to ensure that any involved lymph nodes are eradicated as well. After the procedure, which takes perhaps 15 minutes in all, up go the trousers or dress, whatever it may be, thank you doctor, and the patient walks out, having what I term the gold standard of treatment. No one need die of rectal cancer. It is all about early diagnosis and treatment. This is all fantastic. And here we are today, to celebrate Sun Mint and his richly deserved professorship. It's difficult for people to think outside the box because our training, the traditions, the guidelines, the protocols and the governance restrict what we do and what we think. But we must be aware of the advances in technology, the new innovation, and we must create new concept of treatment because the stage of disease that we treat is totally different from what we used to because with the National Bowel Cancer Screening Program, you're, you're going to pick up a lot of malignant polyps which are very early stage and we've got to try and treat them. With the introduction of National Cancer Screening Program, the number that we're going to diagnose will increase from about 8-10% to 40-50%. And the cost savings that to the NHS will be not in thousands, it will be in millions in one year. Most of the surgeons around the country don't regard Papillon as part of the treatment, so they don't give this as an option. But if we try to prove the worth of it, they have to start mentioning this and give choice to the patient. I'm grateful for the surgeons who are in the audience who've been with me all this time and giving the choice to these patients. And that is one of the reasons why we get all these uh, increased referrals. This National Health Service will save a lot of money by avoiding uh, these, the stoma. We can see from the NVOCAP data the mortality and morbidity that surgery can uh, cause to these patients. And then the patients will be made aware and the media I'm grateful for the patients, who, uh, people who are from the media making these patients aware and for the change in disease pattern, because we're seeing very early stage disease, we need to try and offer this patient minimally invasive treatment, which is papillon.
And my aim is to establish Clatterbridge Papillon Center as a leading international center for teaching, research, audit, and training. As Sir Ian alluded, we will work closely with Liverpool University and the Liverpool Health um, Alliance. I will not rest my sword until Papillon contact radiation is accepted as a standard of treatment, not just in this country, but for the whole world. I thank you for your attention.